Alrighty, you guys, rose number one. I'm gonna show you the classic one strong rose. We want to find somewhere where we have a lot of area to work with. So instead of right in the corner, we're gonna shift down just a touch. And we're just gonna do a circle. You can do this in individual petals, you can do it in four or five, but pretty much we just need a circle. Then I like to add the friends and family. So here's a nice little sister for that rose. And then maybe if we just one little tiny one up here. And then I like that, that looks good. Now one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're one stroke rosing is they try and do the center right now. And we wanna just give it a chance to dry a little bit. So I'm switching to a half inch flat brush to put in some leaves. I loaded green and then I just ran over some dark blue a little bit and it just adds this depth to the color I think is beautiful. And anywhere you see a V in the petals is a perfect place to put the leaves. And we just kind of splash them around the design. Then I love to come in and just add a couple of little strikes. It just makes the design bigger and a little bit more beautiful. Now in the time it took us to put the greenery in, the rose should be pretty dry. And so we're ready to put in the center. And we put this base in with a three quarter inch. So I'm going to use the half inch to do the center. Whatever size brush you're using, just go down and it makes it easier to fit the center in. So we're gonna start with a U. We also want it to be nice and wet. So we're gonna start with the shape of an N and then we shift over a little and we put in a little U. And then we just pull in the side to side motion to get a few more little petals in there. It's important to keep a clean white edge. So if you end up with something a little too pink, you can always go in and touch it up. Then we just do it again. And up at the top, we'll just add a little. Now, of course we could be done, but why be done when you can make it gorgeous? So I'm gonna just throw on a few little white details with a detail brush. And I'm gonna just go ahead and add some baby's breath. In all our other designs, this is like magic, and here it's like actual little tiny flowers. Then I like to use this to just crisp up the center of that rose just a little bit. Okay, one more star. And then, of course, we need sparkles. So this is your classic one stroke rose design. You can get this down to where you can do it in under three minutes. I have faith in you and it's totally worth it.